Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. My name is Tony. This is the 15 Minute Gamer, and today I'm back in DCS with another beginning tutorial series. Pretty much like my Apache one, link in the description, just keeping it simple and beginner friendly. The F15E is out. I've been waiting for this one for a while, but as always, before you even get in the cockpit, we need to set the controls up. And I know some people find it a bit daunting, but the F15 isn't too complex to set up. I use an X56 HOTAS. I have paint on my other screen, and I will show you all the buttons which I'm selecting, so I'll highlight them so you can see which ones I'm using. I will also try and explain what some of the words mean and what they might do and why I'm putting them where I do. With all that being said though, don't forget if you enjoyed the video, drop it a like. Also comment below if you have any suggestions or changes you would make or maybe even the controller profile you've set up. Most importantly though, subscribe for more content. I would also super recommend you download the manual link in the description. Right, let's get on with it. So it starts setting controls up. We're gonna go to the top cog here, just at the top of the screen. We're gonna click on it. We're gonna go to controls. Make sure F15E is selected here, not the WASO, just the E. And on here, the first thing I want you to go down to is Axis commands. Axis commands is the basic controls of how you're gonna fly it. So it's, you know, pitch, roll, throttle, that sort of things. So it's important we set them up first. If you see anything in these already, you might want to clear them. If you want to clear them, just click there and click clear category and that'll get rid of everything that is in there. Now moving on first is pitch. So that is up and down. Bear in mind, if you move anything, you'll see if you've got it correctly. So if I move left and right, I can see roll. If I twist it left and right, I can see rudder is in there. And also if I put the throttle on, I can see that's in there as well. So pitch is the first thing. Bear in mind, that's up and down. Double click on it. Move your joystick and your hotas up and down and you'll see that it'll automatically select joy Y. You'll click OK, I've already got it, so I'm just click it Cancel. Once you've done that, click on Axis Tune. This is really important to do. It might look a little bit complex, but it's not really. Basically a dead zone is, see this little red square? If I keep moving that up and down, so you can see that way it's centered, 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 centered. It's doing all right, but you can see it's a little bit off center that time. Now, basically, if I leave my controller not doing anything, a dead zone just stops it doing something. So you could let go of that and it'll stay in the middle. If I had it straight like that, or like that, any slight movement or deviation away, so say it wasn't quite set up right, and it was like that, it would mean I'd be constantly pitching down. So I always put a dead zone in of around about five. That kind of covers for me. How you'll know is on here, if you see any white lines or movements, it means you need to add some dead zone, basically. So yeah, five on there, up to eight if you really want to, it just depends. Um, I like having a bit more coverage. And curvature just basically curves the line a little bit so it's not so up and down. So, you, you know, um, if I move that to zero, you'll see it's just like kind of like a straight line. You can see it moving up and down, up and down. So I usually set that to around about five. I think that's just what works for me. You don't have to worry about any of the others. When done that, click OK. Do the same with roll. So roll, um, obviously left and right. Get that set up. Once you've done that, axis tune. And can you see how far my dead zone is out for left and right? So I've got to have a massive dead zone on here a huge one. Um, so I set mine at around about eight, but again, just set yours up to what it needs to be. Rudder, mine's a twisty stick. So I'm just gonna twist mine round. Next up is if we move down to TDC slew horizontal and vertical. This is set on my throttle. So we're gonna move to the throttle now. And I have a little stick here, so I will leave that highlighted for you. That is what I select for my TDC. So horizontal is left to right, left, right, vertical, up 
and down again. You can put some dead zones in that as well if you want to go down there. And again, I put little ones in. Thrust, double click. Obviously, just move your throttle backwards and forwards for that. And zoom view is this button here. Put a big arrow just in case you can't see it. That's what I use for zoom view. So if I go on there, zoom in and out. Next up, we're going to go into view. So you click the little down arrow, come down to view. And the only ones you want to select on here, you don't need these. They're not essential. Zoom slow in and out. I do have it set up just sometimes if I want to control the zoom a bit more finer. Um, so I have mine set at 12 and 13. So 12 and 13, if you have the same hotas as me, is TGL1 which is this first silver button there. Next up, we're going to click the down arrow again, and we're going to go to flight control and select that. There's a few to set up on here. We have flaps down and up and also your trim. So my flaps are set to seven and six, which if we go back to paint is the first silver one here. And trim is set to this one on my throttle. So flaps up and down. Again, double click, press your seven and your six. Trim, moving over there. If I press up, down, left, and right. Up, down, left, and right. Next up, click on the down arrow, and we're going to go to Hotas. Luckily, um, they've got it all in one place, which is really handy because this is basically everything else you need. So first up, we have the auto acquisition. You have aft, forward, and press. This is basically used for sensor control, and it's also down is used for disengage, disengaging the air refueling probe. And it's all to do with kind of the hood as well. So basically, there's five modes, super search, bore sight, long range, VTS, which is vertical scan and guns. So I was running a little bit out of space. So I've got mine set to number four and six on the keypad on the uh, keyboard. And the press button is joy button 14 on my throttle. Joy button 14 as, is at TGL2, which is this second one here. Next up is the boat switch. The boat switch has aft and forward. It's mainly used with the AA radar as a missile reject target undesignate and designate button, but also has other functions. Again, it's all explained as you go through any training and in the manual. I have mine set to joy button 18 and 19. So 18 and 19 is this very top button just there. So I have 18 and 19. Next is the castle switch. The castle switch is a five-way switch that, depending on the situation, basically selects sensors. It's mainly responsible for switching between and taking command of different sensors, as well as controlling the nav pod and moving backwards and forwards between master modes as well. So it does quite a lot. I have that set up as the second knob i suppose you could call it on this side here so not the top one the second one and i have that as aft forward left and right to press it i have it as joy button one this silver button here so just above well just to the left next is cmd switch down and up obviously this is your flares and stuff like that i have it 16 and 17 16 and 17 is the second switch just here. Next up, this is where we're going to talk about modifiers because I've run out of now um, hats and basically I need another one for the Cooley switch. So we'll talk first off how to add a modifier. What this allows you to do is by the press of a button, you can then make anything into a second function. You can even make it like a third function. So it's kind of like pressing shift on your keyboard, you know, then going to uppercase or maybe like FN to do your function keys or something. It's just like that. To add one, go to modifiers, click add, select your throttle 
and select whichever modifier button you want. I've got mine as joy button five. Joy button five is, you can't see it on this picture, but basically it's a button about there. There's like two. Um, That looks very rude, but yeah, it's the first one of them. And a coolie switch basically cycles through the program displays on the MPDs. Aft cycles through the program displays on the MPCD. Left is to take command function of the left display. Right is to take command function of the right display. So it's very handy to have. Moving on down. Oh, to set this, by the way, um, to set this, once you have a modifier in, you press the modifier first, and then the key button you're going to use for it. And that's how you set, set a modifier. Right, moving on down. Mic switch aft. A mic switch forward. I've used, I'm running out of buttons, so I've used keyboard. So I've just used full stop and comma for them too there. Next is nose wheel steering and paddle switch. So we're going to move on to um, the stick. And you can't see it on this, but basically it's there. And then there's a button on the stick itself. So the paddle, the NWS weapons button is a little button. The paddle switch is the actual paddle itself. Next up is radar antenna elevation down and up. This is important when you're using sensors. So I've got mine set at two and eight, but you can actually use the TDC to set it. So it's not too important to have, but... If you want it, it is there. Next up is speed brake aft and forward, extend and retract. I have mine set up as on the third silver switch there, forward and backwards. Next up is TDC switch. Now what the TDC does is the target designator control. It's really important and it moves the cursor around radar and other sensors like the TGP and uh, air to ground missile seekers. So really important, which is why I have that set up as the same place as the Cooley switch, just without the modifier. So it's 22, 23, 21 and 20, which is the top knob here. So I have mine set as down, left, up, and right, with joy button four as the selection, which is the second little button, which you can't see just on top of the throttle. Moving to the trigger, that's quite obvious. That's what you got set up as the trigger. We've already talked about trim. Trim was set up here on your HOTAS. Weapons release button is this button here beside the trim. Weapon mode switch. You only need at the moment aft, short range missiles and medium range missiles set up. And I have mine set to this one below the trim. And finally, one quite important one is wheel brake on and off. I just have mine set as W. That's what it's set as anyway. You can select a button if you want to. If you ever want to search anything, click on here, click search. You can go wheel brake, on and off. There we go, W. You can have it set. There is a couple of buttons left over. Um, but yeah, it's quite important to stop yourself when you're coming on the runway and taxiing. And that is all you need to get up, do the training missions, fly and that sort of thing. Hope you found it useful. I hope my little diagram and drone wasn't too bad. And I'll catch you on the next one. Goodbye.